Thermodynamic diagrams are diagrams used to represent the thermodynamic states of a material typically fluid and the consequences of manipulating this material. For instance, a temperature entropy diagram TS diagram may be used to demonstrate the behavior of a fluid as it is changed by a compressor. Topic <inaudible> overview Especially in meteorology they are used to analyze the actual state of the atmosphere derived from the measurements of radiosondes, usually obtained with weather balloons. In such diagrams, temperature and humidity values represented by the dew point are displayed with respect to pressure. Thus the diagram gives at a first glance the actual atmospheric stratification and vertical water vapor distribution. Further analysis gives the actual base and top height of convective clouds or possible instabilities in the stratification. By assuming the energy amount due to solar radiation it is possible to predict the 2 meters 6.6 .6 feet temperature, humidity, and wind during the day, the development of the boundary layer of the atmosphere, the occurrence and development of clouds and the conditions for soaring flight during the day. The main feature of thermodynamic diagrams is the equivalence between the area in the diagram and energy. When air changes pressure and temperature during a process and prescribes a closed curve within the diagram the area enclosed by this curve is proportional to the energy which has been gained or released by the air. <laughs> Types of thermodynamic diagrams General purpose diagrams include PV diagram TS diagram HS diagram Psychometric chart Cooling curve Indicator diagram Saturation vapor curve Thermodynamic surface specific to weather services There are mainly three different types of thermodynamic diagrams used Skew T log P diagram Tefagram Amagramol three diagrams are derived from the physical P alpha diagram, which combines pressure P and specific volume alpha as its basic coordinates. The P alpha diagram shows a strong deformation of the grid for atmospheric conditions and is therefore not useful in atmospheric sciences. The three diagrams are constructed from the P alpha diagram by using appropriate coordinate transformations. Not a thermodynamic diagram in a strict sense, since it does not display the energy area equivalence, is the Stuve diagram but due to its simpler construction it is preferred in education. <laughs> <laughs> Characteristics Thermodynamic diagrams usually show a net of five different lines Isobars equals lines of constant pressure Isotherms equals lines of constant temperature Dry adiabats equals lines of constant potential temperature representing the temperature of a rising parcel of dry air Saturated adiabats or pseudoadiabats equals lines representing the temperature of a rising parcel saturated with water vapor Mixing ratio equals lines representing the dew point of a rising parcel lapse rate, dry adiabatic lapse rate and moist adiabatic lapse rate are obtained. With the help of these lines, parameters such as cloud condensation level, level of free convection, onset of cloud formation, etc. can be derived from the soundings. <laughs> 